Hey everybody, this is Tom. Welcome to a short video on binary numbers. So, we've all heard of binary numbers, and if you've watched any movie with hacking or anything in it, you've seen those screens where the binary numbers are floating up and down. You know, movies like The Matrix where you're watching this stuff, and they're flying up and down the screen, and then, I don't know, the guy does some amazingly graphical looking thing and then hacks into something. But uh, in truth, binary numbers are not really, it's not really that exciting. What, what is actually happening in a computer is, is numbers are not being stored. There's no such thing as a one or a zero inside of a computer. So what we think of as a one or a zero, so let's say for instance that we have um, the number one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. And keep in mind, like we mentioned in another video, that all of these are what we call base 2. And so base 2 just means you have two digits, you have 0, or you have 1. Okay, so those are the only two possibilities. And with a binary number, we still have a place value. So just like in a, if we had, for example, let me... Say we had a base 10 number, this would be the ones place. This is the tens and the hundreds and so on. So there's still place value here, but this would be the this is gonna be one place value, the next place value, and so on. And we'll talk about what those are in just a minute. But let's get back to this whole idea that there are no ones or zeros in a computer. So there are a couple places in a computer where information is stored and one of them is in your memory. Okay. And memory it could be, you know, your RAM, it might be in the cache, okay? And wherever else, maybe some there's some switches in the registers in the CPU and things. So if you don't know what these are, don't worry about it, just uh, think of them as memory in your computer. And inside these, there are millions of little switches, little bits of voltage, and each one of those can be either on or off. So when we are thinking of this whole ones and zeros business, this is off, zero, and one is on. So one has a little bit more voltage than zero, which is off. So there's no one or zero in your computer at all. It's really just electricity or less electricity. And the off state has some electricity, just a, just a little less, less voltage. And there are other places that you can actually see it as well, and this is on your hard drive. Your hard drive, we all know what a hard drive is. It's where we store all of our information. But on the hard drive, or maybe even, for example, like uh, an SD hard drive, or it could be a magnetic hard drive, these ones do it a bit differently. But on the magnetic hard drive, which is those, the big one, the big blocky one with the, the disk in it, it's actually switching magnetic pole. So it's switching this little thing in there and it's, it's switching its magnetic pole. So it's going to be facing one direction or the other. So so really anytime you have a system where you can switch from one to thing to the other on or off in some way you can have a binary system. You have a way to store binary information. And if you have a way to store binary information and you have a way to access it really quickly then you can do computation very quickly as well. So if you're going to use a binary system, then you're going to have to do a couple other things with it as well uh, in order to make the calculations quicker, uh, which we're going to talk about in later videos. But for right now, let's just look at how we go from binary to what we know as a, you know, a decimal number or a base 10 number, and then back again. Okay, so, okay. so let's uh, go ahead and give myself a little more space here 
And let's go ahead and make a, yeah, let me pick a new color. All right, let's make a binary number. First thing we'll do is we'll change this binary number into a decimal number. So this is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, what you do is you, you start on the right side, okay, and we're gonna take this one here, and if there is a one here, that gives us one. So I'm gonna write these up here, one, and then we have two, we have four, and we have eight, and we have 16, and 32, and 64, and 128. Okay, so I'm gonna put some spaces in between these here so we can see these as different numbers. Okay, good. So each one of these digits, either one or zero, has a value. If it's turned on, then we add this together. Otherwise, we don't add it. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you might be wondering why do these numbers go up like this? Well, this is the this is because it's a base two number system. If you had a base ten number system, then this is your ones place. Let me do it in a different color here. This would be your ones place right here. This would be your tens place. This would be your hundreds, and this would be your thousand. Each time you're just multiplying by 10, while in a base two number system, you're multiplying each time by two. Okay? And you could do this with any number system you want. You can make a base three, a base six, a base 16, anything. And you, you can make any type of number system at all this way. All right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and solve this one. So I come here and I look, I say, all right, I've got a one. That means I'm going to add a one. Now, in the twos place, I have zero. In the fours place, I have a one. So that means I'm gonna add a four. Eight, nothing there. 16, yes. Okay. And then a 32, yes, I have a 32. 64, no. And 128, yes. Okay. So if I add these all together, I have got 160, 176, and I've got 181. Okay, so this is 181. All right, so that's pretty, it's pretty easy. If you ever have a binary number, just write these numbers down on top. Just keep doubling from one as far as you need to go, and then just go through. And if you have a one in that place, just add it together and then you get your binary number done. All right, so let's look at how I can now go back from this number. Okay, so now I have a 181, and what you're gonna do is you're going to do repeated division. So you're gonna divide 180 by two. All right, and now you're probably saying, wait a second, that doesn't work, it doesn't actually go in here, so what do I do? Well, it doesn't really matter actually, you you don't care uh, if it goes in evenly, you only want the remainder of whatever the division is. So 180 divided by two, well that gives me 90 with a remainder of one. So I'm gonna write that off here. So there's one left over, okay? Now I come down here on the next one and I divide by 90, and dividing by 90 is going to give me 45, and there's no remainder on that one, nothing left over. Now 45 divided by 2, that's going to give me, so let me put it over here, 45 divided by 2, that's going to give me 22, but I have a remainder of 1. Then I take 22, and I do the same thing, and I get 11. And that means no remainder because 2 goes evenly in there. But of course, 11 divided by 2 is going to give me 5 remainder 1. And 5 remainder, 5 divided by 2 gives me 4 
remainder 1. And 4 divided by 2 gives me 2, okay, which means nothing there. And 2 divided by 2, well, I finally get down to 1 now. So the number here is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And if you look back up here, I have the same number, except there's one small problem with it, which is that this number is reversed. So you can write the numbers down, and then you just reverse them. So I switch this over, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And this and this are equal. Okay. So it's a very simple process to go from a binary number to a decimal number or a base 10 number and then go back again. It's pretty easy. It's just either doubling by twos and then adding those up wherever you see a one or if you have a decimal number just keep dividing by two and keep track of your remainders. Okay, so don't forget either start writing from the bottom up or you just write it and then flip it. Okay, your choice. If you have any questions about any of these, about any of this stuff up here, leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.